In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer concepts that you've learned in one formation to another formation to make you a better offensive player in Madden 23. This will help you in any Madden that you play and um, you can learn all this stuff by becoming a Patreon member over at patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. That's only 10 bucks to become a member. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive eBooks. And we're working right now on a really deep dive into the offensive side of the ball that is going to help you understand not only how to read the defense pre-snap, how to really help yourself have a lot of success post-snap, but how to create your own offenses. And some of that is kind of the heart behind this video is to just help you understand like, Offenses at a very basic level are conceptual. And if you can understand the concepts, you can basically do anything that you want offensively. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to use Bunch. Bunch has kind of been the meta for a really long time. And then we're going to talk about how you can apply the principles from Bunch to other formations. OK, so um, without further ado, let's jump in. So uh, my base play here, we're going to do Flood. So flood is the concept that bunch has basically been based on has been based on for a long time. Um, you can also do it like this base. I mean, this right here is is essentially the same idea. OK, or, you know, this. These are all the same basic idea. And essentially the idea, if you whittle it down to what it really the, the core is, we're just trying to attack the right sideline at the deep, intermediate and and um and flat levels okay now that inter intermediate can have some discrepancies so you can have a corner out like right there that goes you know let's say let's show you it again here you'll see this corner out so i'm on the 30 that corner out is going to go to the opposite 40 ish yard line so that goes about 30 yards right again that intermediate has the biggest gap because really it's from about 30, it could go anywhere from about 10 to 30 yards. So it's got about 20 yards of gap. Uh, but basically that's the idea. And then if I was to run this out route here, you're gonna see that this out route is gonna run at about 10 to 15 yards of depth based off of obviously the bumping in Madden 23, which everyone loves. Um, we can't wait to have our receivers get bumped all over the place when they run the routes. But anyways, um, so you see the idea, okay? If I, I, if I completely isolate this, you will see here that Cromartie will run again at about 10 to 15 yards, okay? So you can attack at about 15 yards, you can attack at about 30 yards, and again, you can kind of go anywhere in between 10 to 30 yards for the intermediate area. But that's how you would attack the sideline on the right and bunch, and you can do that, you can, um, there's multiple variations of that same basic strategy. So let me give you an example. So another variation of how we can attack the deep right sideline and bunch or the sidelines in general in bunch is we could run a corner strike style of play that looks something like this. Now, this guy is going to be the clear out route and this guy is going to be the corner route. So you'll see right here, this might be a little better against man because the receivers don't run into one another. They have some more uh, more ability to run their route as cleanly as possible, okay? Um, another really good way to attack or to do the same basic concept would be to do something like this, okay? So now we have the tight end on the corner route. He's gonna run a really nice corner and you see there that a deep route KO is gonna kind of end the game. But a lot of times, most people put their deep route knockouts on your slot or your outside bunch receiver. So there is value into doing this. This also opens up the ability for us to maybe have a little backside slant that we motion out that can beat man, you know, like that. So now you have a little bit of a slant post or slant in route concept over there on the right. You could even, you could honestly do it um, even like this right here where he just kind of breaks back over the middle gives you an opportunity to be able to beat man but anyways the at the core like how do i attack the sideline on the right side now the the secondary thing is how do i attack the sideline to the left side so this year this has kind of become the best way to do it it's basically this where we're going to have um and again some discrepancy so you could have cromarty year to year the route that beats man can change it could last year it was a crosser this year the slot apprentice post beats man better so that's why a lot of times people put this guy on a post um the tight end last forever has been drag this year the five yard in route i think beats man better from the tight end position so it's again it's it's finding man beaters turning them into zone beaters but also doing that while being able to attack 
the key spaces on the field, the key areas, because those are going to cause your opponent to have to make adjustments. So really what these two concepts is going to do is it's going to make your opponent have to adjust into a coverage like this, which is a double Mabel concept. And then now what we want to be able to do is once we funneled them into something like that, then we can go to a place such as uh, bunch trail or mesh post even or even verticals where we're going to now attack the middle space on the field uh, which in this example right here what I like to do is something basic like this so I still have the flat this guy's going to pull that yellow and the flat out and it leaves that open space right in there where I can now basically have the user isolated in a high low read because and this used to be a play I don't know why people stopped running this play like this this used to be such a more like common play call, but basically let's say the user lurks down to guard um, the, the po or the, the in route coming over the middle. Then what's going to happen is that streak's going to clear out space and I can throw this in behind it. And I can actually throw that at a couple different points um, depending on what the defense does. So keep all that in mind. That's how we attack space at a bunch. And then now we're gonna apply this to trips tied in. Now the main reason I'm choosing trips tied in is trips tied in was kind of honestly like the second, uh, what I would call like power formation um, that came out of Madden. I think this was, I wanna try to remember the exact year that trips tied in became pretty popular. Um, it's always been good, but when did it become like meta? I'm pretty sure that was Madden 18, uh, Madden 18, Madden 19, somewhere around there. Uh, but anyway, so let's take the same kind of thought process. So how do we attack the left sideline of the field, the left deep sideline? There's a couple ways to do it, but out of PA slot corner, we have this corner route. So we're just going to streak Cromartie. We're going to put Carmichael on an out route or a smoke screen, and then we're going to have our tight end on the in route. Now, if I motion this guy out, this is basically just essentially a more spread out version of gun bunch. Okay, and so now you see here that what are we able to do? We're able to attack the sideline at three different, all three levels, deep, intermediate, and flat. Okay, so that's the idea there. Then if I was to go, let's say in, in, in previous years, this used to be a little bit better of a man meter than it is right now. But let's say this, this actually used to be a very commonly called concept is essentially this. So what do I want to do if I want to attack the right side of the field? Well, there's a couple different ways to do that, um, but really it's basically this right here. This is essentially the very basic version of attacking the right sideline. Now what do I have? I have my tight end on an out, I have this guy on a clear out streak, and then I have this high low between the tight end and the uh, crosser coming over the middle, and then I have a check down on the back side. Now, you could also do that, and there was a play, I believe is Madden 19, where you could basically do it like this, and the spacing wasn't absolutely awful. In Madden 23, this because of how bad the, the players run their routes, they just don't they don't work quite as well. Okay, um, from from to to try to flood with that guy. So you know, I mean, the, I remember this used to be a really good play because if you think about it, you are attacking every area across the field, and then you have that backside check down as like a drag. Um, another play call that you could do to attack the right side field, part of why I like trips tied in, is I actually think that it gives you more options um, to be able to attack on that side. But anyways, so how would we attack um, here? So what we could do is we could take Barry and we could put him on a drag that'll give us a flat read, or we could take the back and put him on a table route, right? Lo uh, doubles in sale. So if you wanted to use doubles in sale, you know, then what you're able to do is you're able to maybe do something like this right here. And now you can control when this guy gets snapped so that he doesn't bump, and then you can attack the right sideline. So again, we kind of give the opponent the same basic conundrum where they have to defend the flat on both sides, they have to defend the deep on both sides, and they also have to defend the intermediate area of the field. Just like in basketball, uh, the best offenses understand how to attack the intermediate area of the field is really, really important because most defenses are going to take away the deep and the flat area. 
where they're gonna where you're gonna make your money is in the mid-range area okay so same kind of concept so now if i look at this defense how would i be able to attack out of trip set in how do i attack this uh there's a couple ways so one is we can just attack vertically right with something like this and force that hard flat because that or that cloud flat can't carry that deep vertical route um, which is fine. It just takes the yellow zone out of the field. But another thing that we can do is attack with a very common uh, concept, and that is to take our, our inside guy, put him on a slant, put the tight end on a post. And then really from there, um, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of honestly up to you how you want to attack it. But what I like is, is basically this right here. Why? Because the flat zones get pulled out by those flat routes, and then now the user has to choose. Am I going to guard the slant? Or am I going to guard the post route? And that is literally the chess match every single year. It doesn't matter what year of Madden you're playing. It's how am I going to attack the intermediate sideline the, on both sides? And how am I going to attack the intermediate middle of the field? And then how am I going to put routes around that, that if they over pursue to the middle uh, or to the to the middle area of the field, let me give you just a quick example of that. Really, this cover two is kind of the best example. This is a pretty good coverage. Why cover two is so good? Because it does a good job of taking away the middle, um, the, the intermediate pockets. So what you're able to do is you're able to, Jay, okay, well, we'll just take our little flat route and we'll kill you in the flat and we'll take what the defense gives us. This is how you create a good offense. It doesn't matter the year. It doesn't really matter the um, – sometimes it matters like how man coverage plays. Like this year, uh, man coverage kind of played a very specific way. But like if I'm in gun doubles week, really what I'm looking for is some kind of crosser, some kind of corner route, something. If I have hot route master, I've kind of got that taken care of. Um, you know, so in this example, you know, let's just get out on the field here and we can go a double post. So I have a crosser to the tight end. So now how would I how would I attack the left sideline? Okay. Well, a couple different ways I can attack it. Probably one of the easiest ways, honestly, would be to take my running back, put him on an out route. And then from there, I've already got this uh, deep sideline route from, from Walker. So now I'm just gonna maybe drag this guy on the right, or you know, maybe I'll motion block him, you know, just do something simple like this and now high low on the sideline and i'm able to attack them in that way now again like i said i have hot master or tight end apprentice so you know i could do something like this to attack um the left sideline or if i want to attack the right sideline okay um let me go to pa read let me see let me check the routes here real quick if i want to attack the right sideline all I have to do is go corner route, streak route to Barry, right? And then from there, maybe put the running back on a flat, maybe put the, maybe put, you know, whatever I want to do here to attack this right sideline. So this, this is how, again, the foundational elements, but you see how they bump? Now, what does that mean for me? Well, it means the spacing's not as good. So maybe I need to motion somebody over. So, you know, again, we'll just kind of think this all through together here. You know, maybe you're doing something like this. And now what are you in? You're in Y trips or bunch or however you want to call it. And now they don't run into each other. And so it's a lot better against man coverage this year. So that is how you kind of can take something that was founded in a meta offense and think it through all the way to whatever the formation is that you're running. Because in the big picture of Madden, you're really trying to attack each sideline consistently and then each middle of the field um, intermediate. And, and really the money of Madden is gonna be made in the 10 to 30 yards uh, area, which I call the intermediate or the mid-range area at the middle of the field, the sideline of the field, and the sideline of the field. So that is just a, kind of a quick little tutorial, uh, just in terms of how you can take meta offensive concepts and cross apply them to whatever formation you're running. I hope that this video was helpful. If this video was helpful, I'd really encourage you to check out our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it's gonna get you access to all of our eBooks where we teach you the ins and outs of how to be really, really, really good at the game on offense and on defense in Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video. And if you wanna sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and go get uh, and go join.